How you going, world? KJ Cool here. Let's go. Let's get that. Why don't you? Sh you can always. You're Google. You can change the rules, right? Like yes. you can just say, "Now we're doing this." I just got some news that uh, it's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous, and I'm going to share it with you guys because commentary is dead on YouTube now. If you are a commentary YouTuber, you better start looking at something else to do for a living because honestly, um, your days are numbered on this platform. It's really unfortunate that it's come to this, but this is what YouTube has become now. Criticism is now considered harassment and you deserve demonetization if you're criticizing people for their bad actions. Why do I say that? Because uh, earlier today, I got this bad news here that my channel has been demonetized. Absolutely unbelievable. Your channel is no longer eligible for monetization. Upon recent review, we found that a significant portion of your channel is not in line with YouTube's monetization policies. Please review our feedback below and make changes. And they're saying that uh, I have been demonetized for engaging in harassment, apparently. Oh man, it's just too many SJWs vomiting everywhere. It is ridiculous. I mean, I watch this guy, if I want to check up on the YouTube drama news or anything that's happening, he's really good. He's just like a reporter. Sometimes he throws his opinion in. Yes, but, t but like what you think is tasteless. Oh God, tasteless AF. Ah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god, so many tasteless people. Right, <gasps> it's, it's not necessarily what someone else would see as tasteless. And so I'm just saying we need to have consistent laws codify that in our policies right. so that that can be trained and we can apply it consistently to millions of videos right. and millions of creators. Okay. Consistently codify to millions of people and then we lie. They control their media more than you can actually imagine, people. Here's a big example. Okay, this is about me. Mummy disapproves of me calling her a pimp. <laughs> Oh, I think I must have hurt her feelings. So you can see I've tried to get Google AdSense on a couple of ads here. Uh, that This one in particular with H3 and Keemstar, we know what we know what Ethan's like, don't we? So this was the clip I put in that's shocking content. And uh, it's not my clip, as you can see. It's Miss Trisha Paytas. She put this up. Yeah, it's monetized. Of course it is. She's hanging her titties out. But uh, when I use it in my clip, they say it's shocking content. Excellent work, Karen. <laughs> we got you again. Well, so we do want to have, we do have values. Well, so we do want to have, we do have values. <laughs> and we always have had community guidelines, and we've always said these are the behavior that we think is not appropriate. <laughs> Uh-oh, you never told the Polar Brothers the rules. Ah, oh, no, they just didn't know. I mean, you say you always had rules and you always had things, but why didn't you tell them? I mean, Karen Paul, he was documenting the black riots for you, Karen. And to be fair, the Paulers are your love children and you really should have told them not to. Right. right. And so we look at what people do and if they again if they violate those policies three times we kick them off the platform we terminate accounts all the time and there are many people who think they should not have been terminated liar here's an example of oh just got demonetized ah! yeah that's right that's an example of someone losing it because they lost their job in under 12 hours why would you do that youtube to people why would you allow this why would you allow a fake wedding of karen paul and tana major you know why would you do that why would you allow these creepers to remain on the platform you know they're nothing like a commentary channel one's a pedo and one's a vampire oh, but that's cool they're not commentary channels and you know everyone is being bullied hey let's go back to more ceo lies live do you think you're running a media company well, we are a technology platform, okay. but the output of our product is media. But and are so you a, me a new kind of media company? Would you even accept that? Because you, because I think it's not just you, and I think Facebook is even worse. They run away from the idea of themselves as a media company, and I think I know why. Because then you have to impose values, right? We talked about this when we were at YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I think my argument to you was, at some point you have to have a set of values and that's it. Like, oh yeah, nah, 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 nah
Thanks, Mike. Uh, here's some more examples. So, London Real. It's a great show. He is not a conspirator, but he does have conspirators on, like David Icke. So that was the biggest stream YouTube had ever had, ever, in the history of YouTube. Over a million viewers. Demonetized. So, you're not really allowed to have freedom of speech. Look at this guy, Alex Jones. Yeah, he's pretty nutty. Some things he's, I believe, some I don't. So, the thing about Alex, he's actually been deplatformed. He's gone. He's been banned. No, no more. David Icke, same. Same deal. Apparently, they're their thinking is just way too out there for the squares of YouTube. But anyway, you're allowed to have Donald Trump spewing madness every day. It's pretty crazy. This guy, Joshua, he's still there, but he has, he talks about China a lot. He's been hidden. He's had people just being unsubscribed. He's had a lot of issues and it's crazy because he's just, he's actually a reporter. Just remember, don't talk about China. There's only one person allowed to talk about China and we know who that is, don't we? It's Xi Jinping. <laughs>Keemstar Star and Ethan. They had a big tiff on Twitter. Big babies. And then Keemstar got suspended for seven days because Ethan dobbed on him to mummy. You know, from Wojikabapau. Why isn't H3 in trouble? Hmm. I have many questions. I think it's because he is secretly a Karen. He just thinks he's too cool for school now because of Vape Nation. And he and his little cute wife, they suck up to Karen Wojikabapau. You know? I think that's what happens and then they have big SJW vomits and they go wee mommy stop being mean Keemstar I'm telling on you and then that's what happens I mean is there any way we can ban YouTube who's gonna start up a new platform and not act like this crazy little baby goat because YouTube you ain't the goat no more guess what everyone's starting to really 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 dislike your rules regulations deplatforming demonetizing <laughs> <laughs> the people are getting furious. <laughs> that little baby goat makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, we're coming for you, YouTube. That's right. You're not gonna put your square ways upon me anymore. I can't wait till I can be on a platform and be monetized and loved by the people. Because I'm talking crazy talk. And as the great Napoleon Dynamite said, I can do what I want. Gosh. So, commentary is harassment. YouTube... I feel like you're bullying me for having an opinion. Yes, get Salt Bay, Karen, and ban everybody because with YouTube we care about money. Like Mr. Crab says, money makes the world go round. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, why don't you get Mike Nolan to put in charge of YouTube? That might work. Oh, yeah, nah, 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 <laughs> like that <laughs> you dig that's right the revolution has begun we will not be silenced by squares that run youtube saying don't talk about that as gil said the revolution will not be televised well it's 2020 and the revolution will be televised you know what we've had a lot going on in this year stuff that's never happened in our Bruh. world before and it's time for a big shake up you know black lives matter 100 percent. i hope that changes big time and all this oh censorship like just constant you can't talk about that you can't talk i mean seriously it is not fair that people just get taken down non-stop within a minute they're just gone you go. You know, some people live off YouTube, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, they wake up in the morning. Hey, you lost your job because you spoke about China. And you also spoke unfairly about uh, a YouTube creator and you made them cry. I mean, seriously, can everyone just get a bit of thicker skin? I studied acting. I got a Bachelor of Arts of Acting. How dare you? Anyway, <laughs> we're taught to have the thickest skin on earth. Don't be sookie lalas. Toughen up. If you're going to be in the public eye, ah, go. God, toughen up, you little biatches. Karen Wojcikabau, she she says that they're fair. She says they're always codifying your life, codifying consistency. She talks a lot of BS. She should have been a politician, in my opinion. But the fact of the matter is, it's a public platform. And what, 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 what? We know you ain't gonna do shit about this. We just need to upraise. Tell the people, we know about your room of monkeys. You know, acting like bots, just going demonetized. Look at them. Anyway, love you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, bowlers. I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe, share, like, comment, laugh, cry. Woohoo!
Thank you.